Hello, good morning. Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going to get straight into um, the subject, the title. Go ahead, please, and press tag or share. Um, I want you to know I'm going to be hitting some hard facts. Um, People don't like truth, and I'm starting to understand that more and more. As a matter of fact, I, I put I put on a post, I think day before yesterday or something like that. Fake is the new real, and real is almost like an abomination. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me go straight into my title. My title is Secret Sins Will Take You Straight to Hell. Oh, come on, somebody, I'm going to say that one more time in case somebody didn't understand what I said. Well, hallelujah. Secret sins will take you straight to hell. Point blank in the story. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into the message that God was giving me. Um, Every day we are apt to examine ourselves. We're living in a world that's forever changing. But one thing I'm noticing is that the devil has the same tricks. He just spicing it up different ways. You have more people, especially in God, I'm seeing them fall. And hold on. It's not being judgmental. It's being real. How many times have you seen something? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Even in yourself to where you have to examine yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't have time to play games. And, and two things could happen because even the Bible says, examine yourselves. That's on a daily basis. God, am I going too far? God, am I doing this? Secret sins. You know them sins that you think nobody don't know, but you and God, people know. People know they just don't say nothing. They see when you have lust. They see when you lying. They see when you doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Oh, come on, somebody committing adultery or whatever the case may be. Whatever is your secret sin. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, whether it's food. Or let, let, we're going we're gonna to touch everybody and everything. Whatever your secret sin is when nobody's around. You see, you want to know who you are for real and not who you portray to be? Get by yourself. Get by yourself, man of God. Get by yourself, woman of God. And God will speak to you. Be very quiet, though. Come on, somebody. Because sometimes we like to just, well, God, you know, I, I need this. I need that. Oh, Father God, I need a blessing. Oh, God, I need a financial help. No, 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 no. Can you ever just sit down in his presence and let him tell you what you really need? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because what you think you need is not what you really need. Oh, come on, somebody. Because he, he knows what you need. He knows what you have need for. But a lot of you are losing your soul day by day, slowly but surely. Oh, come on, somebody. Holly. You know what old people say, but slowly but surely because of your secret sin. What is that secret sin? Lust. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Lusted for somebody. And, and most of y'all are doing it from the pulpit. Oh, come on, somebody. And in the pulpit. Oh, come on, somebody. Most of you attend churches not because oh, they can preach good, but they ain't got no anointing. So don't tell me you're going there for the anointing. You are a liar before God, but I still love you. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's talk truth. Most of you, um, let me tell you something. And, and God, I put it on Facebook this morning. The five sins that are taking the church down. Lust, pride, greed, attention. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Lust, pride, greed, attention. Oh, and lying, God says. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know the little white lies. I'm going to pray for you knowing you ain't even wrote the person name down, knowing you ain't going to pray for him. You just said that. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And let me tell you all some Stop saying that. If you ain't going to pray for him, don't say that because you don't know what people are going through. It ain't just about no Christmas. Honey, I'm going through. I don't have time for games. And you want to just tell me you praying. And then most of you, hold on, don't even tell them you're praying if you ain't got no prayer life. Oh, come on, somebody, and you know you ain't even praying for you. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Secret sins, God says. God says, now, then, God says it will take you straight to hell. What are those secret sins? Okay, we all know the ten, we know the sins, the Ten Commandments, right? But we all know that we should not live in sin in any matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Lord, I hear you. Let me tell you something. Most of you say this to yourselves. I'm a good person. I don't do this. I don't do that. But yet you secretly doing something you ain't got no business doing. What'd that make you? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and I don't want to hear that stuff because let me tell you something about a real person and a fake person. A real person will do something and say, you know what? I did it. God, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Everybody forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm only human. I'm flesh. And you ain't even trying to lie about it. But a fake person will sit up there, throw the rock and hide your hand. And not like you ain't did nothing to nobody. And, and, and a fake cry in a heartbeat like everybody didn't did you some. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Are oh, you ready for truth? Because that's all I got for you. Hallelujah.
The secret sins, God says, y'all better watch yourself. You got people sitting up there purping. You ain't no more saved than a man in the moon. And instead of you sit down somewhere and ask God, and ask God, God help me for real. So I can stop faking and jigging with my own self. Because you ain't fooling nobody else. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Why God gave this hard message and, and actually a hard title. Because too many people are dying without God and it's the church fault. Y'all don't want y'all don't want that to touch you though. Oh yeah, the blood is on our hands because the church is trying to be famous. The church is, let me tell you some church ain't been to church in years. Y'all sitting up there, everybody want to be branded, everybody want a dollar, everybody want to pay pay me, pay pay me. Now I know we need money because y'all know we gotta pay bills and y'all know ministry. We're the real ones. Y'all know I ain't gotta say it right. Real ones are literally got to get up on here and say, uh, you know, and then y'all think they big. Or then y'all say they big. But the fake ones, they got to do nothing but say, oh, come on, somebody, turn around five, oh, five minutes and hop on one leg and, and the blessing. Can I tell you something? You ain't going to get blessed unless you follow the obedience of God. All you did was give your money, honey. I don't care what nobody say, nobody do. Somebody lying. The blessings of God is real, but predicated on how you do and what you do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Don't let people stop lying to you. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Half of you don't want to be holy. You you, you want to be cool. That's what, that's it. The world and came into the church. Half of you walk in the church with your shades. I thought the sanctuary was holy. The other half with your iPad or your, or, or your phone, or your phone, I'm, I'm, I'm checking scripture on my phone. You lying, you on Facebook. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Return to the Lord with all your heart, said the Lord. Return to the Lord. Because let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. Oh, this is going to get real in about a minute. The only time people really stop and think is at a funeral. Or somebody didn't die. Or something that hit you hard. Or, or, there's a, or there's something in your body. And, and all you can go to is but God. Why is that, said the Lord? Why is it only when something happened? That you remember him, he said. Hallelujah. He said, but all during that time, y'all cool. Y'all don't need him until something happens. Now, now, let, let's, let, let's make it real, real. You die the day or tomorrow. Where you going for real? Now, you could play games. You, you want to be cool. You want to be, you know, you want to have swag and all this other stuff that the world has. God says, choose this day who you will serve, the world or him. Stop playing because most of you are trying to straddle the fence and it's not cute, honey. Because let me tell you the deal. I don't care how talented you are. If you are have not the anointing of God, we don't need you. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, you may sing good. You may act good. You may preach good. You may teach good. But honey, if you ain't got no anointing, you ain't doing nothing but showing off. Entertainment. People are hurting. Everybody hurting, truth be told. In some shape, form, or fashion, we don't need all that. We need the true, what does God say for real? Where is the presence of God? Who been in the presence of God? Because ain't nobody want to be in the presence of God no more. Because guess what? People think you're crazy. Oh, come on, somebody. People think you're weird. Oh, come on, somebody. Because let me tell you something. Being in the presence of God requires isolation, demonstration. And that's the only way you get revelation. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. But but now the world got y'all wanting to have the spirit of attention with, with, with Facebook and the phones and social media and, and who's the hottest and who's the baddest and who's this and who's that. Honey, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, when your life is required in heaven or hell, because it will be required, ain't none of us going to just, hello, <laughs> what you going to do when one or the other come for you? Y'all can sit there and play games. Secret sins. What is your secret sin? You ain't got to tell nobody, but what is your secret sin that you struggle with? Instead of asking God, God, I don't want to do this no more. Because truth be told, you like doing what you do, how you do what you do. And like I say, being good ain't going to get it. I'm so sorry. And, and then facade, like, you know, I ain't did nobody, nothing. I don't never do. Shut up. Stop lying. Secret sins will take you to hell, God says. Repent. God, change me. God, change me. God, help me. God, I don't want to fake. I don't want to lie no more, God. Because God knows everything about you. So he shows you, you. When you truly grow in God, for real, yeah, he showed you other things about people. Don't get it twisted. But he showed you, you most of all. Because how can you help another if you ain't real? How can you free others if you ain't free? And truth be told, I'm going to tell you why the church is in a mess. 
You got broken people trying to preach to broken people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Prosperity means nothing. You can have all the biggest churches. Oh, come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, let's go here. That's what they got anyway. Everybody got money now. But how is it that the body of Christ is broken than it's ever been? If that is. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If that is the answer. No, honey, the answer is the anointing of God, the presence of God, the fire of God, the power of God to break yokes, to free the captives, to heal the sick. Most of you can't lay hands because you already know you're sleeping with the devil. Hallelujah. Secret sins. And most of you, you get mad. Oh, I'm about to go here. You get mad when somebody tell you the truth to your face. You're dirty. You get mad. I'm going to tell you the truth. Me, I just own it. Can you learn to own your stuff, whatever that is? Whatever you didn't did, how you did when you did when you did it. Own it. And ask God to help you and quit lying, shucking, and diving. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen or what's going to happen. Let me be Let me be a little correct here. I'm not going to do all that. I'm sorry. I'm just. We're going into a season. Not only will you be exposed. But God will render you unto the evil one. Do anybody understand what I'm saying? Not only will you be exposed, but God will render you to the evil one. Okay, case in point. Jacob I've loved and Esau I've hated because you got false teachers teaching. Well, God is just a God of love. God is a God of love. But have you read the Bible? He's also a God of wrath. Hello? Took out his own prophets. The man of God, the story of the man of God. Hallelujah. I suggest that you become real with yourself. I'm not going to ask you to be real with others because if you, you can't be real with you, you, you sure can't be real with everybody else or anybody else. Secret sins will take you straight to hell. And we all have battled with them. I didn't just get to become who I am. When God first chose me, and I don't mind telling you my testimony because it frees others. When God first called me, I first, I didn't want to. Because I had read that Bible and I already know how they do people with God, especially the real ones. I was like, God, I don't know about this. We have to talk. But then when he really wouldn't accept no, really and truly, I said, okay. I said, show me how to do this. I said, because I'm a mess. But I know if you clean me up, you can make me into a messenger. But I, I, I got some stuff, God. I, I don't know how to do this. And even now. I still ask the Lord, Lord, show me, show me me. If there's be anything in me that is not of you, it could be little, big, whatever. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Secret sins. And I want you to know they're only a secret to you. People see, some just don't say nothing and some do. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand this is not to bash, just not to judge, not to say, oh, there she goes again. No, no, no. When God puts it in your spirit to deliver a word, it is to help deliver, heal, restore, hallelujah, revive. The body of Christ is slowly dying and God is CPR, giving CPR, hallelujah, to those that want to thrive and survive and be revived. Because truth be told, some of y'all like what you do, how you do when you do what you do. At lust, God, most people. That grief for money got most people. That angry spirit got most people. That lying spirit got most people. That attention spirit got most people. Oh, God, I knew you was going to say that. Hold on, hold on. God just said something. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. That gay spirit got most people. Bisexual. That's what y'all call it now, huh? Oh, Lord. You just nasty. But I'm sorry, I, it, it is not It is not in your DNA. God didn't make you that way. Stop lying. You're nasty. You like this and you like that. And then some of y'all on the low, low in the pulpit. And now all that stuff that you slim to you, some how it is, okay? And, that, and that's why God gonna get you, okay? And not Deanna, but God. Okay, so, so let's say I'm preaching right here, on here, right? And that's what I'm doing. Anything that's in me that is not of God is being spewed out. So that's why God say, before you get up there, make sure you are pure. Or, or if not, let me purify you. But now hold on. You can't be dealing in this and that and want to distribute it to people. Because God going to get you, man of God. God going to get you, woman of God. And, 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 and no, no, no. 
You see, they don't want to do this no more. Step down. Renounce it. Tell the truth. I admire those that, that you know what, I failed. I, I, I've sinned before God and the people. Because it ain't just about you, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, evangelist, prophet. It's about the people of God, too. So you're not only entitled to God and accountable to God, you are accountable to the people before you because that's who you are preaching to. But you sitting up there, you want to do your own thing. Not knowing that sooner or later, <laughs> more likely sooner, you will be exposed. Sooner or later. Come on, just wait for it. Hallelujah. So I, my prayer is that we get, we all get it together. Come on, somebody. I'm going to throw my stuff in there because we all fall short of the glory of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But that does not make you unaccountable. Right? Right. So, and, and one thing God told me to tell y'all too. Quit, quit breaking each other's spirit. <sighs> that, that, that's, that's a big one. Either you're jealous, you get mad, this, whatever the case may be, just leave a person alone. Quit trying to break each other's spirit. Stop it. Either you put your mouth bad on somebody, or you're lying on them, or you're trying to make them look bad, or you're secretly trying to sabotage them. God going to get you because let me tell you something. If they have an anointing for real, God has to backlash you. Hallelujah. And you sitting up there thinking you're getting over or, or doing something. You better stop that. Let God be God and quit trying to manipulate, which is witchcraft. Yeah, I said it. All right. That's all God told me to say. Um, I've missed you guys. I've just been working on some things and God is getting ready to do some things in my life. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming and I thank him for it. You you all find out in a, in a, in a little bit. I promise you. Oh, yeah. I told you it was going to happen for those that didn't believe and those that did. But, you know, let me tell you something. God processes you. And I thank God he processed me. I couldn't understand why it took so long. I guess God had a lot in me. Let's be real. And I was hard hated. I'm going to be real. And because when God is getting ready to establish you for real, he don't want you to fall. He don't want you to do what others did. That's why the processing is so hard. Some of you going through right now, Lord, when? Lord, when? Lord, when? Honey, just sit back and enjoy that ride. Or you're going to go through some ups and some downs and, and people going to clown you, mock you, hate you, leave you, love you. So say, <laughs> y'all get the drill. Wait on God. Because I promise you, those people you say, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. That is really true. Because sometimes we think we're ready and we ain't even ready. Because just because you can preach and teach, I want to leave y'all with this. Can you handle the level of spiritual warfare? Okay, let, let me leave you with this. I've been through a lot. If you've been following me, I've been through a lot. And I'll never forget when God said something to me that really blew me back. He said, Danny, you ain't been through nothing. I was like, God, they didn't put glue in my hair. I lost all my hair in, what, 2015? I see all kind of other things didn't happen. And you say I ain't been through nothing. He said, no, no, no. He said, because when? I establish you and put you where you're supposed to be. He said, that's when it really going, oh, you don't hear me. He said, that's when you're going to really have to be strong. So some of you are going through that stuff right now because God is getting you ready for your destiny. And you hear strengthening you through your tears, through your fears. And yes, it may have taken many years. And people may have clowned you, left you, whatever the case may be. Honey, let me tell you something. You better learn how to hold on to your God. You better learn how to fall in love with your God. You better learn how to obey your God. You better learn how to just be with God. Because if somebody loves you, they ain't going to leave you anyway. But fake people do fake things. Hey, hallelujah. Whatever. Y'all better learn that. Because most of you, the reason why you, you get so hurt is because you get emotionally inclined. Your spirit must be stronger than your emotions. Because emotions will make you do things and say things that you're not even supposed to say or do. But your spirit will say, gird up thy lines like a man and woman and grow up. Hallelujah. So God bless you and God keep you. I love you through Christ. I pray that you continue to get strengthened. I pray that you don't let this world weaken you because that's what it's doing. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. The object of the devil is to tell you away from God. By any means necessary, he'll use a man, a woman, money, whatever he thinks that you like. Oh, come on, somebody. He'll use your own weaknesses against you. So that's why he says in Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, because everything else is not even real. It looks real, but it's not real, you guys. So don't ever sell your soul. And hold on, you don't have to be in Hollywood to sell your soul, honey. 
You could just want to des desire something that God has not even planned for your life. So one of the other things is to ask God, say, God, what is your perfect will for my life? Because there's two wills. And to be honest with you, if you really wrote down a list of what you want and what God has for you, honey, it's two different things. And sometimes if we be real, oh, it's contrary, meaning that. You'd be like, God, what you talking about? I wanted this. And God said, Ooh, but this might take you under. This might kill you. This might, this might, this might. But, but y'all want what you want, right? So God bless you. God keep you. Like I say, stay strong in this hour. Get close to God in this hour. You don't see all these devilish things. This is their time. They're rising. But so are the remnant of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is getting a remnant ready, honey. And guess what? You can't get us with money. You can't get us with a man. You can't get us with lust and all that other stuff, honey. Because we love God. For God we live and for God we die. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You are soldiers of the end time army. Hallelujah. God bless.